Audio and Video Effects on VFX Control, Part 2. In this tutorial, I'm simply going to give you an overview of all the effects. As you know, audio and video effects are matched. We will also play around with the different parameters to show you the potential of creativity on VFX control. Let's choose first the echo effect. A and B LEDs are on, which means the effect is applied on both, as you can see and hear. If you want to change this, hold shift and scroll the FX button. I am now on video only. The rest of the effects that we'll see will only be applied on the video, and not on the audio. I'm changing live the effects with the button circle in red. With the XY pad, I'm actually playing on the effect itself. As you can see, the effects are reacting to the rhythm of the radio. That's because the setting of the FX sync is on T equals 1. In this case, it's 126 beats per minute. To influence the amount of effect itself, scroll the knob on the right. This will influence the wetness or the dryness of the effect. Here I've switched to the stripe effects and reduced the wetness. This renders a video that's very close to the original. Now this is the horizontal compressor. Going on to the displace effect. Here I'm still playing with the amounts and the quantities of X and Y, just to show you some variations on the effects. This is the color edge effect, which colors the edges of all the shapes in the video. This is the vertical version of the compressor we saw earlier. Here again I'm playing with the wetness, or the amount. Now we're going to see the metal effect. These are the 3D dots. Now playing with the on and off. These are 3D wireframes. Again, I'm playing with the XY pad. Show you some variations in the mounts. This is the image wall. Now we're going to the pixelize effect. This takes the original image and turns it into pixels. Now we're going to move to the lens distortion effect. This is the motion blur effect. Now I'm just scrolling through some effects, just to give you another overview of what we've already seen. As you can see, there's a lot of potential of creativity using these effects. It's really dynamic for live performances. And one of the great things about this is that the functions have been reduced to very simple and optimal keys. You can command an excellent video mix while actually still focusing on your music at the same time. This is about it for audio and video effects. Thank you very much for watching this tutorial. For more information, go to www.mixvibes.com.